Hi guys, I'm Nate from Good Mayhem Racing. This is a 99 Forerunner that I grew up with. We are going to take it off-road racing, ideally the Baja 1000. We are building it in a garage, and if I can do it, you can do it too. Let me show you where we are currently at on this particular build. So, we are working with a vehicle that meets specification. Our goal is to make a race compliant truck, code compliant top to bottom. That way we can pass inspection just fine. However, we are doing it on a private level. That's kind of cool. We're not paying an off-road shop to figure this out. We are doing it ourselves. And all the guys that have helped us on the way have been wonderful, especially the pro guys that have taken the time to talk. Check this out. This is a fuel cell. This one is made by Fuel Safe. They did a wonderful job making this fuel cell. It is 40 gallons. There is a uh, impact resistant bladder on the inside of that aluminum shell. And let's talk about what we have with all of these fancy vent hoses. All right, so this hose right here is the filler hose. Gasoline comes through there, fills up the tank from that spot. And there is a a rubber gasket valve kind of thing right there. And then there's something called a dry brake on this side. This is made by Redhead. What happens is this lid gets pushed in to fill it up with fuel. And it is so long that when you decide to finish refueling, this thing here drains little to no gasoline. It's a very smart idea. The rest of the hoses need to prevent gasoline from spinning, spilling out as well. So of the two lines that you do not see complete yet, we have the outlet hose and also the filler line or the return line that come back from the, the uh, engine of the truck. But what's this curvy thingy? What's this doohickey coming around the back of the fuel cell and around the front? That is the vent line. Let's talk about it a little bit. Okay. So the vent line is a line that makes sure that no pressure builds up in the gas tank. It's exposed to air, or in the case of an OEM car, it is uh, connected to your charcoal canister and EVAP system, so it can collect the fuel vapors, discharge them back into the fuel cell, or just stabilize the system and prevent it from building up pressure. If it builds up too much pressure, that's explosive and that's bad. So with OEM cars, this vent EVAP system is all contained, so then it doesn't pollute the environment with gasoline. With race cars, it's dumped out to the environment because that's actually a safer way to drive vehicles. Uh, you have a lot less vehicle explosions with racing because they can just burn rather than build up pressure and explode and then burn, that, that's, that's kind of really not fun. So how does that work? If the vent line is required to dump out to air, as in not inside the vehicle, but outside the vehicle, you have to get it there. Race code or scores, competition regulations, say that you must make a loop with your vent line that goes around the roll cage and then dumps out below the vehicle one inch below the fuel cell. What that looks like in my case is right here. Congratulations, it is sticking out. Now, it says it needs to stick out one inch. So in a doubt, make it two or three. So that vent line doesn't simply have a hose though. Inside the fuel cell, there is a check ball it's a rollover check ball. That way, if you roll over, the ball comes up and stops fuel from leaking out. It also has a discriminator valve. This has two balls inside of it. One of them stops fuel from barfing up the vent line when you are filling it up and you accidentally overfill it. And it also has a rollover ball valve as well. So that's double, that's twice the amount of assurance that you need for vent lines leaking out liquid gasoline. Now there is a fuel, there's something called the FATS system. Um, 
and I don't remember what FAT stands for. I think it's fuel arrest, trap system, yeah, something like that. And what happens is instead of just making the line that prevents the fuel from rolling or spilling out when you roll over, you actually want to do it in three dimensions. You want to stop it from leaking out when you roll over. You also want to stop it leaking out if you're tilted on your sides, leaning forward or backwards. So how this actually works is the vent line comes up, gets the discriminator valve, goes through the floor, and comes around to the side of the roll cage. That, or yeah, the side of the roll cage, side of the fuel cell, comes around the back, goes forward, comes back up and around. That way, no matter your orientation, when you are off angle, off camber, flexing, jumping, rolling over your fronts, back, side, that way there's little to no chance that gasoline, at least liquid fuel anyway, would leak out of your fuel cell. That's what I've been working on for the past few days. This hose, this one inch ID hose, nylon reinforced PVC tubing, um, or at least braided reinforced PVC tubing, is the vent line. Oftentimes people will actually make their vent hose out of like quarter inch or three eighths inch tubing. That is very small. You wanna reduce all the pressure head you can to make sure that it is a stable system that doesn't get any type of back pressure from any bends or notches or just overall length, head pressure, think of it that way. So yeah, this is the FAT system or methodology of setting up a vent line. That way it does not leak out of the fuel cell when you are off camber, upside down or sideways. That's cool. This was really hard to figure out well, um, but it was well worth the time. This is version one. So if I figure out a better way to do it, you know, like a second time around, I will. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you wanna keep tabs on what's happening with this truck. I appreciate it. You guys rock. See you out on the trails.